Hey guys, welcome back. Mixed Media Girl here. Um, so today I'm going to answer the most common questions about how do I um, finish my paintings. So I have gone over in previous videos how I seal my paintings. So we're not going to go over today that today, but uh, the other common questions are how do I sign it? So these two paintings, they have a specific direction. So I would sign it just down here in the bottom corner. If there was no turtles here and this was just an acrylic pour, um, I like to let the client choose. So I would sign it on the back in whichever direction I felt like it should go, but that way they could hang it in any direction that they want. This one, however, goes this way. So that's how I signed it, okay? So then the next question is, what do you do about the sides or the back? If they look kind of crummy. Um, I personally don't do anything. I think they're just fine. I leave them as is. Uh, but if it did bother you, then I would just take whatever color paint, white, black, or even a corresponding color, so in this case maybe like a purple or something, and just paint over that. So I'm gonna just do the back here with some white, although I'm really not that worried about it. Like I said, normally I would just leave it. I don't worry about it. But if you wanted to, you could put a few layers of white paint here, or any color really, and just kind of pretty it up. This one I set on like a cardboard box or something, I guess, when it was wet. So it's got a little bit of cardboard on there. So you can paint it with just regular acrylic paint or you could even spray paint it if you wanted to. If you do spray paint it or do something like that, you probably want to tape off the sides and the front. Okay, so that's an option. Another one is to take some kind of paper, maybe scrapbook paper, and you could cut it out and just tape, glue it on the back there. That can also work with like brown or white packing paper or scrapbook paper. I wouldn't advise doing something that's too busy and clashes with the front, um, but yeah. And then another question is how do you have it so that the client can hang the picture? Well, how I hang my paintings is I just put a nail on the wall and I just hang it on here. So I leave that up to the client as well, especially since with acrylic pours, they may want to hang it this direction or this direction or whatever, you know what I mean? So if you put a hanging device there and it's the wrong direction, they're going to have to move that. However, if it does have, once again, a specific direction like this one does, you can go to the dollar store and get these wire hanging kits, which are really easy to use. You would just screw these in the sides here and then attach your wire. So that's a really easy system. You can also get the, it's like a sawtooth hanging things that you can screw in as well. Once again, I normally don't do any of this. I just leave it and that's that. I consider it kind of part of the painting. I do sign it. I always sign it. Um, but I usually just leave the back and the sides as is. Because even though this didn't fully cover all the sides, I still like it. And I don't want to cover up any of it, really. Anyhow, that is that. I hope that answers all of your questions about finishing a painting and getting it ready to ship to a client or give to a friend or hang it in your own home. Um, don't forget to check out the video on how I seal my paintings if you haven't already done that. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.